Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is C Chronicles and I post fragrance related content on this platform. If you're new and you like that style of content, please do consider subscribing and joining the family. Now, if you're returning, thank you so much for the continued support. As you saw on the title where I said um, YouTubing to save my life, this is not clickbait. This is exactly what's going on with my life. I do not do clickbait. I think you know that by now. Uh, I'm always, you know, what you see is what you get. I just thought to have a candid sit down uh, video with you. Uh, and it was prompted by uh, a video that I did two days or three days ago when I was not feeling well. I was not feeling well a hundred, right? And I did say that. Uh, was running out of breath and stuff like that and most of you guys were saying go to the hospital go to the hospital so thank you so much to everybody who was uh, in that comment section urging me to go to the hospital i had both channels saying go to leave what you're doing go to the hospital and yes i do get medical help i will show you at the you know in between this video or at the end disclaimer i'm not doing this video you know to have a pity party or uh, you know to uh, you know have like a sympathy card swung about there. I am just doing this video guys because after fragrance reviewing I'm human and I have a community here that I feel some may be interested in this. I was actually uh, debating whether I should do this on uh, my second channel or on this but then I decided no let me do it on this bigger channel because my second channel's views fluctuate so I thought no let me put it on this bigger channel that way it's going to attract those who want to listen to it those who don't want uh, who are waiting for fragrance reviews can always wait for fragrance reviews. I've been dealing with a lot of conditions at the same time and it was something that was unexpected i didn't know what to make of it i didn't know whether it was an age thing you know um i i before i had my pyelonidal cyst i had been diagnosed with renal failure and when i was diagnosed with uh renal failure i actually put off the you know thought that that pyelonidal cyst was something else because i was just putting it down to kidney disease because you know i, I was having pain right there at the back until this lump formed and it became a mess and if you've gone through that process you'll know what I'm talking about so I have been living you know with uh, this renal condition for I would say about uh, two and a half years uh, tops as diagnosis but of course it, it's something that was building over time I would feel tired it was when I started having itchy skin swollen face swollen hands swollen ankles things like that water retention that you know uh, it got to a point where it became a crisis and I had to go to you know the hospital now here the hospital is not the sort of thing when I say here I'm talking about my country right it's not the sort of thing that when you just get a little like symptom you just want to rush to the hospital because everything is cash it's cash why because we don't have a system where you go to work you get your paycheck you've got this you've got that well there are some uh, corporates that are still like that but those are government offices and some of the corporates that any country cannot do without or some of the corporations that any country cannot do without you know for instance let's say the big companies like coca-cola are continuing are going to continue to you know operate in a country and if you're lucky to work for such companies then of course you will still be employed despite uh, the, the situation going on in your economy and your country but for most of us we are self-employed right there was a time when we were employed but it got to a point where uh, with the, the rate of inflation and stuff like that people had to quickly switch to working for themselves. I was fortunate enough to have built, uh, you know, a place to stay and stuff, though not in top-notch condition, but I was fortunate to be one of those that had a place to stay and stuff like that. So when uh, YouTube came into the picture, it was, of course, something that I started as a hobby because I just enjoyed YouTube, but it became something that if you are legit in a country like mine, where if a hobby can pay you something, then you're gonna do it, all right? So before I get into a lot of chit chat, let me just show you the journey. Um the medical crisis that I've been living with behind the scene. And, I'll, and then I will continue with this video after that.
Pitups. <laughs> That one hurt. <laughs> But anyway, should I just check this inside? Might as well. I'm gonna go for that one. <laughs> Don't give up. But I've got a lot of veins. Okay. Mm. So let's try this side. I'm going to go Okay. 
Just check your phone. phone. Yes. When you just send a message with the, the results are out. Okay. We don't tell you the results on the phone. Okay. On my script last night, mm. um, I was supposed to have brosephine. Okay. How much is it? Because I didn't, I had all the drugs except of brosephine. Mm. You should have saved that so that I'm going to so that I won't prick you twice. Oh, you know, it's right. Yeah. It's it's yes. yes, it's I feel. Yeah, well, I, I thought could the results would be quick, so... Yeah, the, the other two will be out after 30 to 40 minutes, but the vitamin B12 now, we are sending it to another level. Right, so as you've seen there, guys, I have been documenting my journey. Uh, I... I was, I'm going to say since about two, maybe one and a one 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 and a half years, maybe two years tops, I decided to document sn snippets of my uh, medical journey, especially after I was diagnosed with uh, renal failure. Right now, on top of that, uh, there's more that, you know, I've, I've been suffering from anemia, uh, uh, irritable bowel movement. I'm going to show you the medications that I'm on, or maybe let me show you the medications that I'm on before we get on with this video. Let me show you, let me insert a quick clip of the medications that I'm on, and then we can chit chat some more. So guys, this is the host of the medications that I'm on. I'm not going to uh, say what is for what. If you can figure it out, you can figure it out. But according to YouTube rules, you know, I'm not here to uh, work as an advisor or to tell people what to take if they're feeling what. Okay, I just wanted to show you what I go through on a monthly basis. These are the medications that I take, right? Uh, there is this one. Uh, this, this I've been on for a long, long time. And I do have like loads of it. I buy my medications in advance whatever i can buy in south africa i buy in multiples so that it keeps me from you know uh it keeps me away from just buying and buying and buying okay so this uh was a two times a day type of situation this one and this one is the same thing let me just show you okay let me just show you and this is also the same thing rebranded it's a different brand but it's the same thing okay and then i am on uh, this medication for nausea uh because most of the time i feel nauseous right and then i am on pain medications apparently this uh particular pain medication is one that is suitable for uh, a person who has uh, renal issues, right? This particular one. I can't take any, just any random pain medication, right? So I take that for that uh, when necessary for pain. I have them in multiples because some of them are backups. And when this fails to work, I was put on this. This is a stronger pain medication. I am on this one literally for life, okay? Because this one uh, is for the kidneys it works directly for the kidneys uh, i had been on multivitamins for a long time as well but i've been told to slow down on the multivite because of the vitamin 12 deficiency there are some vitamins that i'm taking but the vitamins that i'm taking are excluding you know uh like a host of uh, multivitamins right this one is for dizziness uh because i do get dizzy spells this uh was prescribed uh for nerve pain uh, uh muscle pain that sort of thing this is supposed to also help with uh tension pain and stuff but this i was cautioned not to keep going with this one this one is a do whatever it is if you know you know right so i take that one on the daily and then there's this one this one has uh for now replaced this one why because when i was having those chest pains uh, the doctor actually said he was concerned about me having lactic acidosis or something like that, which is a side effect of taking this medication for a long time. So this medication and this one works together. These two can be taken both at the same time. But for now, I've taken, I've been told to stop taking this and take this instead, just to make sure that we protect um you know, that chest pain, muscle pain, radiating across my chest and stuff. Suspicion was that it could be lactic acidosis. So I'm not on this for now. But if it turns out that it's not 
uh, this and it continues, the chest pain continues, then they will see, you know, they will see according to the test that they did, that just popped up, you know, irritable bowel movement and have these, uh, these antibiotics here. These were a second set uh, that I was just told to have, uh, you know, as a backup after my pyelonidal cyst because after i had the pyelonidal cyst operation um i was put on a set of antibiotics and stuff and then they gave me two sets this set i was told not to take uh, however in case you know the infection doesn't go away then i can go on a second set of antibiotics so basically guys these are the meds that i take on a daily basis okay guys now back to why i am here i thought to share with you because uh every time i come here maybe i do a video and i'm not feeling well i just wanted you to be on the same page with me to understand that youtube to me has become a survival thing if you will uh and with this i'm being as candid as possible uh i don't like to polish things up even as things may look polished here and there right so Despite having all these health struggles, I've decided to push through and continue giving content instead of lying down and crawling and feeling pity for myself. I just want us to be on the same page so that you understand from my standpoint, you know, why YouTube uh, has become something that I am using as a survival, uh, as a survival thing, if you will. Uh, I am a you, an African YouTuber, right? And uh, if you have read about Zimbabwe, you will know the crisis uh, that's been going on in Zimbabwe for years. So most of us were formerly employed, but we left because there was a time where money was not buying anything. And we had the highest rate of inflation recorded uh, in, you know, in history. And uh, it was at that point that most people started their own companies, you know, opened shops and stuff like that. And things were working for a while when we opened shops and all. Oh, I, for one, had a boutique. Um, I had a property that I was renting out. So I was okay, right? Until, of course, the boutique itself had to close because of the crisis, the same crisis that is in this country, it was no longer viable to run a boutique pay rent, pay electricity, pay stuff and whatever. And then somebody just comes right in front of that shop, just puts a rack of their clothing there and whatever ways they're selling and they start selling. All they have to do is look out for council to make sure that, you know, they're not caught when council comes to regulate things, you know, they just put their things back in the car and they drive off and stuff like that. So it became an, a, a, a thing for me where that as well had to stop. Uh, then I was at home, of course, waiting for that rental property uh, or that, that rental, if you will, right? Uh, and then, of course, uh, the CD came and that is when I decided to open YouTube. I'd always loved fragrances. It's not like I woke up and went to a shop or online and I bought a lot of perfumes. I already I was one person that on average I would have 10, 15, all right? I didn't have as many as this, but I would have 10, 15 at any given time. So I opened my YouTube channel. I wasn't well received in the beginning because it was slow moving. But after the year, uh, everything, you know, kicked off and it became something that was going into the direction where it was, you know, remunerating me, right? Now, why I'm, uh, I decided to do this sit down video is to explain this journey, uh, especially from an African creator and for you guys to understand, to be on the same page, to understand that even when we do content creation, uh, from, you know, almost all the time, it's not out of the need to try and outdo anybody or to always be in front of the camera. But for some of us, myself especially it's a survival thing it's a survival mode where uh because of the host of uh you know uh medical conditions that i have you see that that or i just crawl in bed and sleep and obviously with renal failure half the time you're so so tired you know so so tired it's as if you've been climbing mount mount kilimanjaro even when you haven't been doing that that if I had to just crawl in my bed, it would be easy to, you know, slip into some condition and just maybe, you know, think what the heck, you get what I'm, I'm talking about. So YouTube to me became, slowly became something that I needed 
uh, for survival, to look after myself, to pay my medical bills, as well as to look after my two kids because I'm a single mother. Uh, but then uh, there was this other surprise that was waiting on the other side that I was not expecting, where after reaching out to a lot of companies, especially those that I was representing, I was hoping it would be easy to get sponsorship. And then, you know, the cost of purchasing the actual perfumes would not be on me. That didn't happen. So it got to a point now that when I come and I say I'm ill, but I'm doing YouTube or even my family knows I'm sick as hell, but I'm doing YouTube. The one thing that comes to everybody's mind is why don't you stop the stupid habit and get yourself treated? Well, I'd love to, right? And I am getting myself treated. But here's the thing, because I'm not formally employed, I work for myself. It's about hustling on a daily basis. Whatever it is that can make you money is what you do. Hustling on a daily basis, right? I cannot afford medical aid. Well, I could put myself on medical aid. It's not that it's unattainable if you are not formally employed. It is attainable. But in my case, you know, there are stages to medical aid. There's the general, there's the private, there's a private hospital, and then there's a VIP, right? Because I have a chronic condition. It was something where I, I felt I either had to be on the private hospital or on the VIP because that would be the one that would cater for everything. And that alone was $183. So I had to weigh the pros and cons because that did not come with medication. Yet my meds at the end of the month are in the that range as well. So it would have been $183 for medical aid and somewhere around close to $200 for medication, which would not make any sense to me to just have such bills so youtube now after i got the acceptance and everything then taught me something that i could not stop or i could i did not have the luxury to stop uh, filming right it's not about liking to be in front of the camera or wanting to say something all the time but this is how youtube works if you are on adsense only which is what i am on right now adsense is when you know, uh, ads are placed there and depending on who watches from what country, each country has got a rate. It's not a flat rate for everybody. If somebody watches the same ad and they are in uh, uh, Africa, it, it pays less. They watch the same same ad they're in Europe, it pays a little bit better. Now with that ad sense, say for instance, I drop a video there and I make say $30 off that video, right? And I don't post tomorrow, which I'm not forced to. That's YouTube for you. You don't have to post. Tomorrow, what's going to drop in that account? Because there's a little bit of the viewership that's crossing over to the next day. It's going to be maybe $20 or $22. Third day, oops, it gets to $15. Fourth day, now we are on about $6 or something like that. Fifth, sixth day, I've never tried it. I've never tried doing that because... The system itself tells you not to, you know, and remember as you're going down the same journey, the same route you use to go down is the same route you need to use to try and get yourself up. So it's not like after your money drops to like $6, you can just come with a video and all of a sudden make a hundred dollars, you know, that is because the ads that have been put in your on your channel because there is no movement on that channel are lesser and lesser and lesser paying and lesser paying so you still have to pick yourself up off that grass to build you know to build that confidence with the same platform you know to get you to that threshold that you're used to daily so it makes it very complex to be away for three five days a month, for instance, if you're in a country like myself, uh, where you there are no sponsorships, there's just certain regulations that stop you from doing certain things that like we don't have super things, possibly because um, maybe of the sanctions, we don't have a tax treaty with the United States where YouTube is in the United States. So because there is no tax treaty, whatever you get from YouTube, you're taxed as well. Okay. So if you get that $30, um, AdSense takes 40% of it, and then you get the remaining 60%. So back to the heart of the matter here, where I thought to explain myself because with this habit, okay, this perfume collecting habit, it's easy for people to think, oh, you've got the money. Why are you doing this? 
uh, you, you're rich, why are you doing this? Because nobody needs as many perfumes as this in reality, right? But it is a genre that I started because it's something that I was passionate about, but not knowing that there wouldn't be adequate support from some of these companies that I talk about to sustain the channel where it becomes just me paying for internet usage while they give me the fragrances or something like that. I don't have that privilege. I'm gonna give you an example here, a quick example of what I'm talking about. I bought La Taffa Sir, right? Because this was not in my country. I actually had to buy it directly from Dubai because I do have a Dubai address now. I bought it directly from La Taffa. Let me just close some of the details here, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna show you enough for you to see. Okay, this is the La Taffa logo. That says C Chronicles there. And if you go below there, it says Sir, right? It says Sir, I think it says Sir Spray, right? Now I purchased this fragrance for 180 AED, right? 180 dirhams. Now, if you convert 180 dirhams for this, this was $50. And to get it to Zimbabwe, I had to pay $18. Now, it's none of anybody's business. This is why I said, uh, this is not a pity party or anything like that, right? It's none of anybody's business in the sense that I can understand if somebody's saying, well, why are you doing it? My reason for doing this video is I am doing it because YouTube has become a source of income for me because of the state of the economy that I come from, where uh, even if you are to open a shop, there is a gazillion other people that are doing the same thing. So the competition is tight. Everything has been watered down. Even if you're opening a restaurant, there's like other 40 restaurants around that area, you know, and it doesn't equate the population in which you're trying to cater for in terms of that restaurant, because population wise, we aren't that many as well. That is where the challenge is. So when I discovered that YouTube had become somewhat of an income, it was something that I had to make sure I balance through, right? So I'm going to put my, my YouTube revenue and then you'll see for yourself that if you're a person like me who is not formally employed, by formally employed, I mean having an eight to five, a check, a pension or something like that, and you're relying only on YouTube and the YouTube that you're relying on is AdSense, right? The only other thing that I have is the rental property of which that is something that's neither here nor there because some of that money goes towards the mortgage for that uh, other property. So if you're into that, you know exactly what I'm talking about, that the money that has to sustain me has to come from other, you know, like uh, from other sources, like say, for instance, I'm making, uh, I'm just gonna give this as an example. Let's say for instance, I'm, I'm making peanut butter in my garage or I'm making, uh, or I'm sewing, right? I am a seamstress as well. So occasionally I'm sewing, I've got an order, somebody wants a, a, a dress or something like that, then that is the extra income. Now. Because YouTube has become that type, that style of job where I need to be at it every day to get some remuneration is the reason why despite being ill, despite having uh, itchy skin, despite being dizzy, being on pins and needles, despite uh, the palinoidal cyst when I had it, uh, and all the other, you know, despite being nauseated, I just have to find myself pressing that button and making the video, you know, so that is the dynamics surrounding uh, this YouTube thing and what goes on behind the scenes. How things work around here is very different. I am not saying in other countries things are cheap. No, I'm not saying that. I've had a lot of you guys come in the comment section also talking about how you pay for medical bills, how you pay for, you know, uh, this and that. We do the same as well. Now, there is a very big disparity there where if you're going to go to a government hospital, it's not like there aren't government hospitals. There are, but there is a lot that is not there within the government hospitals. So you find yourself going to private hospitals and that on its own as a cash paying pa pa patient becomes an arm and a leg, right? And lucky on my part, I have been hospitalized a couple of times, but not so many times, right? Because I've tried to 
keep the condition in check, uh, you know, to eat properly such that I don't get to a point where I need hospitalization. When I went uh, some three days ago, uh, they had to move me off this one because they said they thought uh, that I was getting in, uh, I was getting lact lactic acidosis or some, I don't know, lactic acid, lactic acidosis or something, a condition that can potentially turn into a heart attack all of a sudden. And they said it was probably because of this. And, and that is because I had been on it for, you know, for a while. So they have changed that. So it's not like I personally would want to play with my health, but it is a scenario where it has become something that I need to survive. This YouTube has become something that I need for survival, if you know what I mean, because tough as it is, it's also helping me not to crawl, you know, in my bed and just possibly fall into whatever, you know, condition because I'm just sitting there. But at the same time, I wish there was a way where it wouldn't cost me as much in terms of perfume purchasing because you will find that now with the uh, with the genre actually saturated, it puts pressure as well. You know, where, for instance, I probably didn't need this, but I had to get it because what else will you talk about that is new? What else will you talk about that hasn't been spoken about by everybody else? So that is basically, you know, why I thought to do this sit down video and explain my life to you guys in detail. So having said all this, guys, uh, probably the question in your mind is uh, what is the way forward? Uh, I do have a game plan. My game plan, guys, is to, of course, as I said, continue with the uh, content making. Uh, my plan was to move to South Africa. Uh, reason for moving to South Africa was the fact that with South Africa, you know, changing my account to South Africa and everything, uh, there aren't uh, all these restrictions and the way things are done, they are quite different in the sense that you can get sponsorship and all that, right? Uh, but that move for me to make, you know, entails me uh, ensuring that the occupant for that property in South Africa is out. But at the same time, I have to have, you know, the money to be able to sustain the mortgage. So I'm in a process right now where I'm working flat out, whether being jewelry making, sewing, as I said, to complete uh, the building that I have at this end, which is in Zim, and to make sure that it is, you know, a tenant occupant worthy. That way it can sustain me moving through you know, both countries and staying in South Africa while I YouTube and also be able to sustain the channel in other means. Because if you've seen the analytics or the, uh, you know, the payments that I get off YouTube AdSense, you would have noticed that it's not a lot of money considering that that is before tax. So if you t take that and then you tax it, you will know that, uh, say, for instance, with that figure of 700 and something, that becomes 500 and something. So that then might minus purchasing the perfumes, minus uh, making sure that uh, my health is in check in as much as I do other things, like I said. But remember, I am limited in what I can do because of how I often feel. If I'm feeling tired, I can't do much. If I'm okay, I can do as much as I can. So balancing the act out completely is something that I am, uh, you know, uh, is a working process, is a working progress. But that is the ultimate plan for those who may be concerned still that, okay, what you have explained to us, we've heard, but it's still not a solution. Yes, it's still not a solution. The solution is for me to make that move from this country. But in the meantime, there's a lot that I need to do around the house. I'm going to drop a house to home series where you're going to see for yourself some of the stages that I've had to uh, capture on camera. We started on this house to home thing almost on a monthly basis. We do something in the, you know, around the house just to make sure that it's livable. And there's still a lot to, to do. Uh, which is why I keep on working. There's still a lot to do, but as soon as everything then is tied out, is, is tied together, I can then make that move. And then of course have all these other ways of sustaining the channel. For instance, uh, if you your channel is in South Africa, you can have subscriptions where content like this that I'm giving to you can be on a subscription basis where it's not just out there, it's for people who really, really care, uh, you know, to listen to that content enough to, 
subscribe to uh, by paying whether it's two dollars a month or something like that. That's an option. Not that I'm saying I want to take my channel in that direction. Please do not misquote me. I am just talking about the various uh, options out there of the same system that I'm uh, I'm on of the same uh, platform that I'm working for for. But the vast differences that are there between just shifting from one country to the other. Yes money permitting i would love to just pack my bags and shift immediately you know but as i said i have to keep the mortgage going and for me to keep that mortgage going i have to finish you know this uh property that i'm working on here so that with the payments that i get then from tenants from here it will not then you know crash into my pocket in south africa but in south africa of course even the companies that i've approached there they have been very flexible in wanting to work with me in wanting to endorse me but because i'm a country away it makes it very very difficult there's also perks like that super thanks there's patreon there's buy me a coffee uh of course it's not that people open youtube to have things like that but it is also additional income as i told you there is a threshold that youtube seems to give its creators as for what adsense can give you per month the rest you have to figure out how you can make that uh you know uh you can make that extra money which the good thing about this youtube platform is it is open for that but you have to be in a country that has you know ways of moving things around say for instance shipping i believe shipping stuff because i have received uh, perfumes in south africa before from the united states it only took about uh, eight or ten days you know so all those logistics are, are very different there in the sense that even if i open that digital shop chances are i'm able to ship stuff easily across countries when i'm in south africa than when i'm here so that is the game plan guys and i would like to thank each and every one of you who said through this video who listened and i do hope it's not you know uh understood out of uh uh out of context uh the the idea was to get you to be on the same page as myself that yes you know i am doing youtube basically for survival because i am in a country where i am not employed the employment uh that i'm talking about the self-employment i think you know it's not something that you constantly have and even if i had it with my condition sometimes i cannot sustain it you know say for instance somebody comes and they want a wedding gown off me it's something that i can do but that's dependent on how my health is you know going at that particular time but when it comes to youtube i can simply pick myself up and say okay the next 20 minutes i think i will be able to stand quickly review a perfume and go back to bed that's as blunt as i can put it guys so thank you very much for sitting through to the end thank you to each and everyone who subscribed to this channel i appreciate the support I appreciate your comments. I appreciate the subscriptions. I see them, guys. I see the growth and I appreciate it so much. And this, all this that I, I was talking about is mainly about how there is lack of support from the companies themselves not from you the sea chronicles family i appreciate you guys more than you will ever know thank you so much for joining me today love you as always stay safe stay blessed and i will see you in the next one guys bye for now <laughs>